Uh, okay, so, so I I I don't know why why I am doing this. I have time for the sandwich. In one minute forty seconds, I will start to eat. It has ham, five ham, three cheese, bread. Uh, there's egg like soiled into the bread and then illegally spicy um, 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 hot sauce and extremely strong uh, mustard and salt on top I uh, did <laughs> Why am I doing this? I, I, you know, I I always make so much cursed content that maybe sometimes I'm the one that's supposed to be cursed. No, instead of me hurting other people or like making their hotel confused. Maybe I should make myself confused sometimes to put myself in the shoes of the of the people who watch me. So twenty two twenty eighteen sixteen It's lock locking down. I have water next to me. I will sip some now. And uh, Timer has won. See, the event has started. Uh, I, 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 the, 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 I, <coughs> I, 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 it's the first bite, right? It's the first bite that hurts the most. Well, uh, <coughs> I just the smell. Just the smell is quite overpowering. <sighs> okay, that's okay. I I I have come to it seven stages of eating a bad sandwich and I've come to accept that I will be doing this and it's going to be bad and I might get sick about it but I will do it because I said I would and even though every second I look at the sandwich I wanna just fake the sound and say yeah I did it I look at it again and see I am about to do this for fun, to show people. This is the essence of what peer pressure is. And this is the essence of how you keep time running instead of doing something. So I am showing procrastination and peer pressure at the same time. Even though both of those were inflicted by me, I don't need to eat this sandwich. It's not a task that I'm forced to do. But it, does, it is a task that I want to do. Nobody is asking me to do it. I want to do it. But as I look at the sandwich, I don't want to do it. Every time I look at the sandwich, it, it gets a moment, a small prick closer to my mouth. And I know that is because I'm Trying to fight back, but not physically. I know that I can handle it. But mentally, I think this might be a quite a great point for me in value content creation one in the future of what I will be doing if I want to be doing it. And at the moment of, of this moment, the sandwich is about five centimeters away from my mouth. I have come to accept 
its smell, which is still over overpowering, but as I slowly move it towards my mouth, it's the smell isn't as bad. It is not as bad as the soggy, soggy parts of the bread. And uh, I, I can almost lick it. <coughs> the one tiny lick of the salsa, of the spicy sauce, is enough to get my tongue inflamed. One leak of the, of the mustard is able to get a different type of thing of my tongue. I am going to eat this sandwich. I've come to accept that now. Just as with everything, nothing spare moment. This sandwich was going to die tomorrow. And instead of making it like the other ones, I made it a different one. I made it different from what society wanted the sandwich to be. But instead of what society does, I will accept this sandwich. And even though I will not like it, I will try my best to accept it, is, accept it as it is. I don't care that it has five pieces of ham or three pieces of cheese. Because it is a sandwich. A sandwich made out of my respect for the Aliu community and a sandwich that shows how I respect the Aliu community scene and what he what it has done for me. It is a symbol of wanting to give something back to the community after having such an enjoyable time in it. Uh, and we'll continue to do so. I realize that's a that message came out wrong. And the smell is almost completely gone now. Since the since there is also salt on it, it will cause some kind of a reaction in my tongue. On my tongue. Same as with the two spices. Since it will not most likely taste like anything other than the meat. It is the smell, thanks to the smell being gone, it's going to taste like meat. Just pure meat. Maybe egg too. But mainly meat, I'd guess. But the spice, the strongness of the mustard, I'll call it sting a lot. It's going to be like getting beat put in the tongue. This is the sandwich. That I'm going to eat. The sandwich which I was just supposed to take a bite of and start eating, but I didn't. I don't know why. Was it strong? I don't know. Or was I weak? I made this thing, so why can't I just eat it? Why? Why must I keep time running instead of doing the one thing I made it for? Why must I look at it? melting on the cheese, looking at how it combines with the salt and deteriorates, making the cheese soggy now too. It is definitely more soggy than in the start. It is becoming worse and worse by the second, but instead of thinking I should eat this now to fix this, I just look at it, wondering why. Why can't I eat it? Why? It is just a piece of bread. Eating it would take under two minutes. So why? Why is it so hard to eat this sandwich? I do not know. But I will document every single second of my time with this sandwich. And uh, as time goes on, I come on one and more to understand the sandwich, I guess you could say. It doesn't look as disgusting as it did. I am starting to see similarities in it to other things. 
The mustard reminds me of pea soup, which is a traditional Finnish food made of peas. The ketchup reminded me of fast food. And then the cheese and ham reminded me of a normal sandwich. A good, tasty, normal sandwich. And I look at this thing. All those three foods, they taste good. I love them. But then why, when you combine them, do they look so ugly? Why do things that, when they are separated, are beautiful, but while they are connected together, they aren't more beautiful? They are just chunk. It is now seeping through all the layers. There is hot sauce in on my fingers. It is going through to the part where the nail goes down. And it is starting to burn on my fingers. But even though I'm in one more pain, I cannot eat the sandwich. Not yet. For I do not know why, but I can't. It is my nervous system. The part of me that tries to keep me safe, fighting against me. The same thing that has kept me away from drinking, or doing anything, any drugs. The same system that has kept me away from falling buildings. And other disasters that I've almost been a part of. So why? Why does it see this sandwich as an equal threat to a falling building? Why? 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 My screen just turned off for a moment. All right. Now we shall continue. We've most likely lost some progress due to this. But when has losing progress we that think the thing something down? This small break from the sandwich actually has given me more courage to eat it. Maybe my time away from it gave me time to respect it. It gave me a point of what if my PC turns off while I'm recording? I will have done this all this for nothing. What will I do then? And why? I do this as I look at the rolling egg on the plate. The eggshell. This egg came from a chicken. The chicken ate food to make that egg. And now that egg is a part of an experiment. Why? Why what can we do this to a chicken's egg? I ask. And as I more and more begin accepting the sandwich, I feel sympathy, I guess you could say, against the things it was made, it was made from. The beef of a cow. Milk that created the cheese. Salt from water. And of course the spice sauce from where. The mustard from where. Somewhere. All of these things were created by something. Some were natural products, some in a machine, in a factory. But still, there was always something living, making sure that it got into the part it is now. There was always something making sure it was top quality to get to the shelves of the store to be able to be taken up by someone like me. So, it's my last question before I delve to my first bite of the sandwich. I ask you, am I the sandwich or the Easter sandwich? You. <laughs> Am I? I
Vai. My throat hurts. My. 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 My tongue hurts. The top of my mouth. It's. It, as I breathe. More and more. Uh, uh, I can't feel headphones. It's. My brain hurts. <coughs> As time goes on, the pain spreads in my mouth. Not only through it, from side to side, also down it. My whole throat down, right to where it connects to my elbows, is in pain. Each breath to the mouth hurts. Mouth. But even so, if I breathe through the nose, there's still a passive pain. And this pain is... It's strong. As I now look at the... Sand... At, at, at the sandwich with one bite taken out of it. I have gained fear. I thought I had beaten it. I thought it would just be mental, <coughs> but it keeps hurting, and it 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 hurts really bad. But somehow, I I still like the sandwich. I I kind of want to take another bite. Not because it tastes good. So why? Why does it? Why does second look more and more appetizing to eat this disaster of an food? Why? 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 I say why three times, since that's the amount of the cheese it has. I have said eyes more than five times, so more than there is meat. Maybe there should have been as much meat as there is eyes. <sighs> that way, maybe the pain would be less. Maybe I could hide the spice in the meat, the taste of the meat. It is quality meat. It is good meat. It is great meat. As I talk, my mouth begins to calm down. There is still a consistent pain, which feels like needles going through your cheeks. But it's less and less. And as I speak, my hair on my skin erects up on every part of me, like on a winter night. But it isn't a winter night, it is warm, but still, every single part of my skin is saying don't continue, don't do it, so why? Do I want to continue? As I speak, the sandwich still creeps more and more. I had to put it down so that I could hold my mouth shut so that I wouldn't throw up. My hand now has a residue of each part of the sandwich from when I almost threw up twice. And I look at it, and I keep looking at it, and I look back at the sandwich. What makes my hand different from what's on the sandwich? Sure, it's on the top of a hand plate, but the sandwich is on top of a porcelain plate. 
peptides? What separates them? What makes it different? Why do I want to eat this sandwich? The pain is gone enough. Still lingering in the background, but not gone. I would believe this is the perfect time to take another bite. Fight against the urge to drink more water and take another bite. Since I have already taken one bite, the new bite should double the effects of the old one, as now there is a lingering effect and there will be an active effect. I look at it. The next bite is going to have about three times the amount of salsa, I mean the hot spice, than the last bite. But at the same time, it has less cheese, which means less things made from milk, less things to help the pain. It has less meat, less milk, less cheese, but more spice. So why? Why do I want to eat that part and not the part on the right with more cheese, more meat and less spice? Why do I want to struggle through this sandwich? It is a question which I don't believe I have the answer to. And I don't think I need to have the answer to it. But what I need to know is, I started this, so I must end this. I will finish this sandwich. I grab the sandwich again. I see that I took it from an angle well, as a bit of the hot sauce is actually on my finger. It seems this... <laughs> it seems this sandwich is helping me with going through the spice. I see it and I'm in... I, I, I fear but I am not scared of it because I know I can now handle it. I know that it is possible and now you know that I must do it. I will go for another try at picking up the sandwich. I have now picked it up. I picked it up in a way where the bottom is now creeping with hot sauce and mustard. Which means, unless I want my floor to be ruined with it, I must lick it off. Disgusting as it is, it isn't disgusting. It tasted good. Why? <coughs> Why? I must ask. As I can feel, the spice has corroded a bit of my lungs. Not lungs, but some part of me. As now, <laughs> I'm starting to cough. But I have only eaten one bite. One bite. I shall eat another bite. It is not bad. Why? 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 It is not bad. Why? 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 As I now look at the sandwich again, the insatiable hunger that I've felt my whole life is back. Now this sandwich 
doesn't look bad anymore. And I don't know why. It's starting to look better and better by the second. As my mouth begins to water. As my nose starts to run. As my eyes start to cry. It starts to more and more look like a normal sandwich. As I breathe out, I'm in a very high pain because I have the choice of the easy part and the hard part to bite on, paste on the spice. And I pick the hard part. Why? Why? And why did I? Why? I'm looking at the sandwich. Face down, still looking at it with my eyes. Why did I want this? Why? I I want to eat another bite, but I don't. There is more salsa dripping onto my leg. This is why I brought water. I thought it was for if I throw up. But it seems that is unnecessary. As I don't even find the sandwich disgusting anymore. It is not a disgusting sandwich anymore. To I, at least to these eyes. It is just a bad sandwich. And maybe there's something in that bad sandwich that brings the kind of nostalgia of trying to make food with friends and not having any idea of what you are doing. Well, maybe... Maybe. Maybe. As I prepare to take another bite, I look at the clock. I look at the sandwich. And I look at my hands. I just now wiped off the sauce from my leg. So then why am I keeping it on my hand? Why, you might ask. Well, to clean my hand, I need two hands free, one for cleaning, one to be cleaned. And that won't be possible as I have a sandwich in hand. And then that sandwich is not getting put on the plate. I do not want to put it back. I seem to see it as a challenge, something that I must beat, something that I must prove to people that I can beat. In some ways, maybe, it is then similar to the monument speedrun. There's no point to it. I don't gain anything from it. But I started doing it, and now I must prove to myself that I can still be better. That I can still hold more spice. That I am still able to improve. There are still things to do. There are still things to improve on. I prefer to take another bite. This bite more difficult than the last one. So I prefer to take the bite. I've started seeing illusions. Not big ones. I've started seeing faces. My camera lens holder and my pencil case together for my face. Why am I seeing faces? Why is my mind trying to create something human while I'm eating a sandwich alone in my room on a Friday night? Why? 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 
I prepared to take another bite, as I just said. But I am not prepared for it this time. The second bite seems to have taken a bigger toll than I thought it would. I might have told myself that it wasn't bad, but it was. And my hand has started shaking, the one with the sandwich. My grip of the sandwich is stronger. It's almost as if I was trying to strangle the sandwich. And as I look the sandwich more and more, I can notice the other muscles on my left side start and start going berserk. It feels like I'm not able to control the sandwich. I take another bite. As I try to eat through the piece, I can't but look at the water bottle in front of me. I want to reach to it, but I can't do it. Why? I can use my hands, yes, but not for what I need. I can clean off the water, the spice, out from my face, from my nose, running away from my nose. I can try to make the thing better, but only in ways that won't interrupt the recording, that won't make the quality worse. this point we are one fourth or one third of the way to eating the sandwich completely my face has been red for the last 20 minutes and my skin is still standing up the sandwich why why the sandwich? Why? Why did I accept this? Why? I could have just said, ha oh, funny joke, no. I could have just said, yeah, I ate it, here's the video. No. I wanted to do it. Why am I... eating the sandwich? Fighting the sandwich? Why? 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 As I have eaten more of the sandwich and more and more and more and more, this weird feel of it's gonna be okay soon, it's all gonna be good, kind of flows through me as I look at it, saying that it's only going to get better from here. But as I said that, I there's a spread. there's a part coming with more spice But I know it's one third of the sandwich is clean. It doesn't have sauce or mustard on it in the picture. I think you can see it in top right. I'm not sure, but since I'm not looking, it's the part that looks off board from the bread. 
I did not do it on purpose, but it feels kind of poetic. As if this sandwich has a reward on it, like a quest on MMO. Eat the sandwich and you get to eat the better part of the sandwich. And I, as I look at the good part of the sandwich, I think, why don't I just bite from the good side? Why must I dig too to the good side from the bad side? Why did I start to have to start with the bad and grind my way to the good part of the sandwich? I ask. And I ask and I ask. Why? As I prepare to take another bite, I look around my room. Things here have been things coming from other parts of my life. Some from 10 years ago, some from 12, some from 15, and so on. So why? Why does this sandwich fit in? I prepare to take another bite. This time, not prepared to take a bite in the sense that I'm going to say something again. But in the sense that I'm going to bite in to the sandwich. And as I say those words, there's more fear in me than there was in any of the last bites. In the other bites, when I have said I will now take the bite, I've been able to take the bite. But now I cannot. It seems my body is fighting more and more against it. Three. Two. Why is it so bad now? I can't think. I it's spinning. Not the world my mind. It's like I can't focus. My heartbeat is calm. Why? Look at the water again. My mouth can't taste anything anymore. It has gone completely numb. There is no need for the water anymore. But even though there is no need for the water, every time I take a bite, I still want to throw up. Why? Is it my body trying to tell me to stop? Is it me knowing that this is bad, trying to stop myself? Or am I just making it up? As I look at the water again, I feel I must drink. And I will drink. I've awakened that I was supposed to eat this sandwich. 
I do not need to require to suffer from not being able to drink because I am also eating a sandwich. As I taste something else than the sandwich, the sandwich starts to look more and more disgusting once again. I was done with it. I was able to eat the rest if I just didn't drink more, but after drinking, now, now it looks disgusting again. It... it Everything happened since the last water drink. To tell you this water drink is erased. <coughs> My mouth is still numb. So then why, if I truly hate this thing now again, won't I just give up? I say that and for some reason the word give up has given me more determination to finish it. I now want to take another bite. I need to take another bite. But for who? Myself? Someone else? Or am I just imagining things? <coughs> My coughs, coughs become more, more frequent. I don't know why. Well, I do, but why? I'm starting to see hallucinations. When I look up, I see my hair. I see my hair, but it looks like looks like my smiles. Every single hair strand, a smile of its own. Why? Why is it when I look to the corner of my vision, I see a smile, but when I look closer, it's a hair. As someone who has gone insane before, this is not insanity. This is not what it feels like to be insane. So then, what is it? What am I experiencing? And why do I want to take another bite? The sandwich isn't as bad anymore. I didn't need to puke. Why? I don't feel the need to mentally prepare for the next bite. I am in pain again, but I don't feel like growing up. We are three fourths of the way there. It would be the part of my brain that likes efficiency that's coming to say 
just eat the rest now. It will not take long if you just eat the eat, eat it whole. <sighs> At the same time, only now have I truly experienced two bites back to back. Hello, get the water. I need to drink. I need to drink. The pain is this. Somehow, the pain is completely gone. I'm now looking at the sandwich. It, about, it is about the size of my thumb. About the width of my thumb. The width of my index finger. Feeling hurts. So much. Oof. I must keep commenting. At this time, if you are still listening, MM12. Was this what you were looking at? Was this what you were looking for? Most likely not. Was this what I was looking for? Was this what I wanted to get? No. Just no. So then, you still are there. Why are you there still listening to this? As the pain eases, I prepare to take another bite. Now there's a question in front of me. Two small bites. The one big bite. So I think of this, I close my eyes and imagine I see two eyes, dots, might be precise. I see stick figures, 2D animation, and pain. It's the pain which I've come to now know. After this experience, I am talking as though this experience is gone, which probably lets you know that my choice will be one big bite. And as I say that, my skin crawls again, like small bugs under your skin, knowing that their host might die soon. They run away. Same way my body trying to run away from the sandwich. <sighs> I have not experienced this before. Where something is still with you, but you've started to think that it's already passed. Most of the time it's the other way around. So what makes this sandwich different? Why is it different? If there is anyone still listening to this, I'd like you to reflect this. 
I would want you to make this sandwich. In the start, you heard what I made it with. Make it. I want you to make it. And I want you to eat it. I don't want you to just eat it. I want you to record it and eat it. Don't post it anywhere. Just record it for yourself. Because recording yourself forces you to be more talkative, especially if you have done any kind of any kind of content. The moment you start recording, you are more open about what you're going to say. If I was just alone eating this, it would have been completely quiet outside of the puking. Would it have taken this long? I wonder. How would it have just been five to ten minutes if I wasn't recording? Those are questions I ask. As I widen my mouth. It doesn't hurt. Why? The pain is gone. I'm still feeling. With both the mental strain. The physical is gone. I feel great satisfaction for a goal that has no point. Why did I do this? I must ask. I know the disgusting sounds I make, but I can't stop enjoying the sandwich, even though it's disgusting. <sighs> the sandwich has been eaten, and I feel nothing. I don't feel special. I don't feel like I did anything special. I just ate a sandwich. Why do... Why did I think I would feel special after I eat the sandwich? Why indeed? As I have now eaten the sandwich. There is nothing more to add to this. I don't want to talk about this more. I have said everything I want to say about the sandwich. And I just want... That Italian guy's... Sandwich recipe.